All right, so this is um, the second vintage of uh, the Valley Sauvignon Blanc. It's a 2020. Um, but this year we um, launched uh, the Valley Sauvignon uh, with a 2019 vintage that is very close to being sold out. Um, obviously, Algen, known for, for Sauvignon Blanc production, it, it really does have the perfect climate for that. Um, this is produced from a vineyard that is. Um, on the full Yunsuop road, it's it's sort of in the middle of the valley, but it's a very high point. It's about 300 meters above sea level. Um, it is uh, SP316 clone, so it's a clone that uh, produces a lot of texture, a lot of fruit on the wine. Um, vineyard wise, what we do is we open up the, the bunches very early at pea size um, to get as much light intens intensity into the bunch area to produce uh, as much fruit as we can on the wine, obviously bring the green flavors down um, as much as we can, but very important, create texture. So, and that is important for the start of the wine. Um, from cool climates, um, we, we do tend to find some soils that is very acidity driven, uh, which sort of overpowers the wine. But for me, with producing Sauvignon Blanc, and I mean, I'm a Chardonnay and Pinot guy by heart, so it, you have to always see this wine as being produced by a Chardonnay person. I want to add texture to the wine. Um, so if, in my mind, it's always um, New World with a dash of this sort of Loire Valley um, um, romance in the wine, that little bit of texture, a little bit, little bit of feel to the wine. Um, so it's, it's, this specific vintage was just one picking. Um, and uh, so I picked around about 13, 13.5 alcohol. So when you sort of find that profile of um, gooseberry, but there's still this fig-like uh, flavors as well. And also still uh, obviously have a really good acidity on the wine. Um, it's brought into the cellar. 90% um, of the wine is, uh, is de oh, well, the wine is distinct, but 90% goes uh, on to skin contact for about four hours. 10% uh, of the wine we ferment on the skins for about probably five to eight bricks and that is really to just extract as much flavor as we can out of the skins but also to add that texture to the wine. Uh, this is all done uh, spontaneously. Um, the 90% that got the lesser um, skin contact goes to stainless steel and finishes the, the fermentation in stainless steel and the 10% will go into a small egg or eggs uh, and finish the fermentation there which will give you obviously it will enhance the the texture and sort of the fruit profile on the wine um, on the lease for only about three four months um, and then blend it together and this was bottled just a few weeks ago and it's probably going to go into full release um, in the next few weeks but it is a cool climate Sauvignon Blanc that's got different layers it's not just fresh or, or, or fruity or green or acidic it's this beautiful mix mixture between gooseberry figs, great linear acidity and uh, a beautiful texture and feel uh, to the wine.